The magazine mountain right now is Pacific Northwest magazine. A few months ago, another slick paper periodical hit the stands, Northwest Edition, created by the same folks who published the 50-year-old Alaska magazine. Now there's Washington, the Evergreen State magazine, which will be published six times a year. This first issue is the result of a lot of planning and a lot of patience. It took uh, some two years or two and a half years in the planning stages, and most of that time it was uh, looking for the people with enough vision and savvy, uh, plus the wherewithal, to make the dream a reality. And I almost gave up three or four times. But Goldthorpe isn't so. used to giving up. He's been in journalism 36 years as a reporter and photographer for Life magazine and a contributor to several other magazines. He came to the Northwest to edit Adventure Travel magazine, which was discontinued by the owner a few years ago. Some of the other people who worked on that magazine are now on the Washington magazine team, such as managing editor Skip Berger and art director Betty Watson. I just, I wouldn't want to see this story done in less than eight pages. No. No. no you couldn't do it. The family still works closely, deciding on photographs for the covers and for future stories, and planning the magazine's content and layout. In addition to camaraderie, there's also a sense of purpose here. The challenge of covering the people and the lifestyles of an extraordinarily diverse state. And we've got to be a useful tool for the reader to learn to enjoy the bounty that's around him in every single way, from the food that, that is manifest here, you know, the remarkable things that the state's noted for, to the sheer enjoyment of each other and, you know, the beauty of what God's given us. Part of the challenge is overcoming an east-west separatist mentality we seem to have in this state and helping people to identify themselves as Washingtonians. You ask a Texan where he's from, he's not going to say Dallas or Houston. He's going to say Texas. You ask a Washingtonian where he's from, he's going to say Seattle, Spokane, Walla Walla. What I really want to do is to, is to make a crack in that cascade curtain, if you will, and introduce dry siders to wet siders in real terms and make them curious, a little more curious about each other and, and kind of whittle the Cascades down to size. Subscriptions have poured in from both sides of the Cascades, from the metropolitan areas to the rural countrysides. Circulation has exceeded expectations, with almost 50,000 copies of the first issue being distributed. Goldthorpe says that unlike some local magazines in the past, Washington Magazine is adequately funded with newspaper publisher John McClelland making the initial investment. And that element, combined with good people producing a good product, convinces Washington Magazine's publisher that this project can't lose. If you have the need, and you have the finance, and you have the ability to fulfill that need, I think you've got a successful publication. Washington Magazine will be available by subscription at the charter rate of $12 a year, or at newsstands beginning next Wednesday for $2.50 a copy. Nick, what can readers look forward to in this inaugural edition? Well, there is an article about uh, the movie Dune and the three Washingtonians that are involved in that, the uh, star, the director, and the writer, all um, lived at one time or were born here in Washington or, or currently live here now. Mm -hmm. And uh, a little article on berries, where to find them, where to get them, oh. how to eat them. <laughs> nice. Nick, can we get a tight shot? I want to show what the inside cover, this is a slick publication, but let's get a, a close-up <laughs> shot here. Penny, can you come in a little tighter? <laughs> oh, a Rolls-Royce Rolls ad. Rolls-Royce ad, right <laughs> in the inside front cover. That's a beauty, isn't it? A convertible. You don't see those very often in magazines, so I think that kind of uh, tells uh, everybody that it's a very slick, uh, high-class publication. And huh? just the fact that the content, too. We just found out that Harry Wappler has an article in there. Is that right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Harry uh, just let us know that he will be uh, contributing a columnist with a weather column every um, every month. So that's very exciting, and we wish Harry the best with that. Right. What could be more prestigious? <laughs> right. <laughs> right and speaking of Harry, Harry's going to drop by any second now with a look at the afternoon weather forecast coming up.